What's up, my bear cubs? Jan and Bear here, and today we are unbox. Um, we are doing part two of the unboxing of MGA's Miniverse All You Can Eat storage case. So make sure to watch part one right now before you watch this part two unboxing, which I am now making sure to do uh, links in the description. So I know descriptions aren't down below anymore. So it should be wait. It should be over here, I think, if I'm pointing right, and then you just gotta click the little word that says more, um, or you can just go to my channel homepage and you can find part one right there. So make sure to watch part one before you watch part two, so that way you don't get any spoilers to like all the stuff that I showed. So in part two, I was planning on making the five given recipes along with some of my own recipes because this case comes with so many items and foods and all that that you can make whatever you want to. Um, and then I was also going to do a, a comparison with my dolls and the food to show you how like this case is like a perfect pantry and the food and drinks are such a perfect size for the dolls. And then I was also planning on showing my case with all of my mini-verse creations and items in it. So make sure to check out my nine different videos that I have unboxing individual recipes, which I uh, I did make a recipe, bef like the video before um, part one of the unboxing, so make sure to check out all those videos if you haven't already. And what I was planning on doing was I was going to make the recipes in this order and then my own recipes. And obviously I will pause to grab out all the different items that I need and all that sort of stuff. So first off, I'm going to start with orange juice right there. And here is the recipe that I will be following. So I'm going to gather up the ingredients and we'll make it. All right, so I have all my ingredients to make the orange juice. The only differences that I notice for the recipe is that it shows a coaster, which this set didn't come with any coasters, and it's not like I really need a coaster. Um, plus, I have coasters for my other recipes, so it doesn't really matter too much. And then it also shows um, one of the mason jars, like the cup ones with a handle, but it didn't come with it, so sadly I have to use one of my actual jars to make it. So once I have this, I'm just going to have a, a random lid, which, I mean, I guess I could use it to like pour sprinkles on there, I guess. So it won't be totally useless once I get this all filled up. Okay, so first, obviously, we, here, I'll move all these down. So obviously, you got to take off the cap. So we got our jar there. And then you for, oh my god, you fill up the cup with the resin to almost fully but you still have to save some room for the ice and oranges which i did just notice that there is some tape on the resin which i think is for all the resins okay so we'll go ahead and take this off oh okay this is different we have like a little tab in there that keeps um the resin safe so we'll go ahead and pour this in and obviously, it is a deep orange kind of transparent color to be just like orange juice. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I get this filled up to the right amount. Alrighty, so I tried to get as much as I could squeezed out, which was really, really hard. And it definitely could have used a bit more, but... I like can't get any more squeezed out and then I already have my straw in because I was trying to use my straw to try to like dig some of the resin out but like that's also really hard so next we're gonna go ahead and put in some oranges and ice cubes so I will go ahead and pause the video to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what it looks like with oranges and ice cubes in it alrighty so I got it all created which I was able to save one orange slice and a little bit of ice which, just like in real life, I tried to use a whole lot of ice to make the drink look more full. So it turned out pretty good in the end. Oh god, <laughs> there goes the orange juice. Alright, so here is what it looks like. Which, to get the little garnish orange slice at the top there, it was really hard. But since I had some resin left at the top, I tried to like scrape some in one spot. And then move an ice cube in one spot so I can have some support for the orange slice. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in Jacqueline's little nail machine because it has um, like UV light so that way it'll harden up and I can show you the final project while also getting all the ingredients ready for some fun donuts. So there is the recipe and here are the instructions that I will be following. Alright, so then I will come back in a moment. Alright, so my orange juice is getting some sun rays right now, but I have all the ingredients for the fun donuts. So we have a rectangular plate, knife, the uh, sun-baked sweets paper, the box of donuts, the, uh, <laughs> the white chocolate, my little mason jar lid in case I need to pick up any sprinkles, and cereal. So I'm super excited to make this. So first, um, let me put all these down. We'll keep the plate and the jar on there, and then we have to put the paper on top, so that way we don't make too much of a mess. And then next, we can get our donuts, which we'll be making one sprinkle and one uh, banana chocolate, just like it shows on the little recipe. So go ahead and spread them out, so that way they're not too much in the way. And then next, I'll be using the knife to get out some white chocolate to put on the donuts. Super excited. Ooh, whoa. It kind of like, it looks like it has a texture to it. So it also has a little protector, thank goodness. So I think all the resins do. And then here is the white chocolate. Kind of looks like it could be like actual white chocolate. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to need some real good concentration to get these donuts really nicely iced up. All right, so I have to be super careful showing this, but I was able to get these iced so good that, so first I tried to like make sure to ice them a lot so that way the the resin looked more like chocolate frosting instead of like a glaze. So here they are and I tried to add like the little drippy details on the donuts all the way through to make it look even more like real donuts. So I just gotta carefully put these back and then we can start with the yummy details so we can get some sprinkles. So we can pour some sprinkles on one donut this is so cool. Like, you can even see at the top that half of it is blocked. So, oh, I just dropped sprinkles on my table. But anyways, half of this is, like, covered. So that way it's like an actual, like, little sprinkle machine kind of thing. I just gotta be really careful. And then, obviously, I will have to use my, um my little mason jar lid to collect up the other sprinkles. So I think that's probably a good amount. That's, that's pretty decent there. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up my box here of cereal, which I'm excited to see what this is like. Oh, look, there's the chocolate and the banana holding their rings together. That is so cute. So we got a clear package and we do have the little rings which is so cool so it's like chocolate banana cheerios and i might be able to open this up like a chip bag so i just gotta be careful which i'll pause the video to be nice and careful all right so i was not able to open up the bag like a chip bag so i had to get some scissors to cut it open so i'm gonna try to mix these up because they're not really mixed up too well, and then I'll go ahead and put them on my donut. All right, so I make sure to try to put like a decently good amount of the little cereals on, including like trying to do like an even amount of each color. So here is how both, oh, a sprinkle just dropped. Okay, so I accidentally paused my video getting the sprinkle off my computer, but here is how they look. They look so realistic and delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in some UV light. I'll get this area cleaned up. And then the next recipe we're going to make is a macaron cake right there. And here is the recipe that I'll be following. Okay, so I gathered up everything that we needed. So we needed the fancy cake stand. Obviously, we needed the cake. 
and the macaroons. And then it says to use the Coca-Cola, but I don't, I don't want to use the Coca-Cola because I have something really cool that I want to use the Coca-Cola for. So to kind of, uh, be similar, I have my little, uh, pie thing and my, like, coffee cream kind of feeling thing from when I, from one of the little crafts that I made that was, um, like an eclair chocolate coffee cake kind of thing. So this will kind of work. Maybe it could look like chocolate or maybe it could just be a chocolate cake with, a uh, coffee icing and macaroons which I think would still be good I don't know so it still kind of works out so I'm gonna go ahead and follow the recipe so obviously we need our handy dandy stand and then we need to cake I mean oh my god we need to take our cake out and put it on the stand and then next we need to put the resin on so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video so that way I can get some nice good concentration again to get this iced up real good and we'll come back. Okay, so it took a long time, but I did get it iced. I was trying to do the whole drizzle thing on both layers, just like I did with the donuts, but <laughs> as you can see, it is not as neat. It's a bit more clumpier. But I was really trying, and it's not like it looks too bad, and it's also not like I'm some professional decorator baker kind of person, but it, it's alright. So next is just, well, next and last is putting on our macaroons, which I do have to cut, I think, yeah, we're going to have to cut them in half for the decorations and technically you can decorate them any way you want, not just like how it is on the checklist. So I'm going to save... I'm going to save at least two of the every flavor so that way maybe one day I can make my own macaroons and then I'll use two of every flavor to decorate the cake. So I'm going to come back when these are all cut and when the cake is decorated and then I can show off how tasty this cake looks. Alright, so I tried to decorate it pretty similar to how it shows on the little checklist. Um, plus a little bit of my own stuff because obviously I still had some macaroons left. I'm gonna be so careful but here it is it looks really really awesome and really really tasty I definitely recommend using some tongs to put the macaroons on because I <laughs> I kept doing it with just my fingers and I kept getting uh, resin all over my fingers so yeah so it still looks really really good so next I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready to make some rainbow pancakes right there. And here is the recipe that I will be following. All right, so I got everything I need except for a placemat that it shows, but that's okay. So we have a long plate. We have some tongs, a fork, the uh, little squirt glaze, some uh, little sprinkles and chocolate chips some whipped cream, and some pancakes, which these two I actually didn't show what was inside of them, so I will do that in this video, obviously. So first we got our plate set up, and then next we will put the pancakes on, so you can take a look at how cool these pancakes are. So, oh my god, they are so beautiful because they are rainbow pancakes. So, we have a yellow, pink, and orange one, which they are even more realistic because around the edges they are even darker, just like they were cooked, so that is so cool. So, we're going to try to set it up kind of similar to how it looks on the little checklist there. So, there we go. It's kind of something like that. And then next, we're going to squirt some glaze on, which I do notice that there is some tape. And then it also does show that you can use the um, the pink little nozzle to squirt the, ice, the icing on. But I think I can do it out of this box, because I remember I've made donuts, different than the ones that I made in this video, where also uh, had that. But I did perfectly fine without the nozzle. And then we do got that little bit to take off. And oh my god, this glaze is so pretty. Uh, 
just trying to stick this in the cap first and the glaze is a transparent pink color so that is really cute so i'm going to pause the video to try to get this glazed up good and then we'll put on our other yummy toppings all right so i got it all glazed up so it looks all crazy just like when you put syrup or anything like that on your pancakes so next we can do some whipped cream so we can check out how that is i just need to figure out how to open it because i'm not exactly sure how this container opens so I might have to pause the video to see where it opens. All right, I finally figured out how to open it up. You just pop off the top there and inside, oh, we have four of the cutest, tiniest little icings. That is so cute. So it looks just like as if you were to pump it out of one of those bottles. So it does show one on there, but I think I might put like two or three so we can stick one right there oh no we can stick one right there and we can stick one right there <laughs> this is gonna be a very unhealthy breakfast but it is gonna be so delicious so that's pretty good there so that way i still have one left over and then Time for chocolate chips and icing. I mean, not icing, some sprinkles. And just like with the sprinkles, it does have the half covered. So that way it pours out just like a sprinkler. It's just a little bit hard sometimes because these little chocolate chips are like getting all crowded. Oh no. Come on. All right, I think that's a pretty good amount there. Next up, we can do some sprinkles, which this uh, breakfast is looking so good. So it's not only like birthday pancakes, but it could also be like unicorn pancakes because <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like the colors and stuff as a of a unicorn. And there we go. I think that's pretty good. The amount of sugar that's going to be in this is a lot but it's not actually something to eat so please do not eat it so there it is that looks so good i would totally eat that and then obviously you have the fork over here that you can add in if you want to but i'll leave it off to the side so that way it doesn't make too much of a mess and then obviously i can go ahead and dry this off and then if you wanted to you can even like when this is done you can like i guess shake the plate off and then put back the extra sprinkles and chocolate chips so that way the loose ones don't get like all over the place so next up after i get all this cleaned up we will set up for a berry sorbet so there's what it's going to look like and here's the recipe that i will follow all right so we got all the items that we need so we have blueberries blackberries and raspberries we got the ice cream scooper tongs and a spoon we have the fancy ice cream cup, we have raspberry sorbet, and we have some maple syrup, which I don't really know how maple syrup would be like with berries and ice cream, but that is what it shows on the checklist. So yeah, and it also shows a doily, but we don't really need that. So first we got the cup. And then next we're going to get the ice cream, which we didn't check out how the ice cream looks like. So if we open it up, we have what it looks like four really bright pink uh yummy ice creams oh yeah and then i also forgot to say uh that for the macaroon flavors i think the brown is chocolate the green is pistachio and the pink is raspberry because the pink definitely is like that kind of bright so we're gonna use the ice cream scooper to make this fun and get the ice creams out and then we'll go ahead and plop them on in which on the checklist it did show um that we were using three there we go so then we just need one more and then i'll still have one left over which if you wanted to you can also use the mango flavored ice cream or even mix it up which um 
which obviously with this saved one and then some of that ice cream, I can totally make this all over again, even with the other fruits, um, but not put the syrup in. So that way you can still take out all the pieces and like put them away if you wanted to, which would be pretty fun. So next time to add the syrup resin, which there is a piece of tape, which I think is on all the resins because that's how it's been so far. And we will put it on top. So obviously we'll have the little protective piece that will have to get off. And then I think either this or the Coca-Cola or both is what you can use that brown little nozzle piece on. So, oh wow, okay, this is a hard bottle. So I'll pause the video and then show the aftermath. All right, so I got it all over, so it actually looks really good. And obviously, just like with real maple syrup, this is like a brownish clear transparent color, which on the ice cream, it kind of looks like honey, which having honey with all the fruit would actually be really good. So next, we can use our tongs to help put in all the fruits. So I'll go ahead and pause that, because it'll be kind of like a long process, and I want to make it look super delicious. So I will come back, and we'll see how tasty the whole thing looks. Alrighty, so I'm all finished. And I tried to add a good amount of all the fruits, so it looks really, really delicious. And then you can go ahead and put in the spoon if you want, but I'm just going to leave it out, because you can always still put in the spoon, and there'll still be like room after the resin. So, now we have completed all five of the given recipes, so now I can get super ultra creative, and I will show you some recipes that I thought of, of, uh, like, thought of myself, and then I will get all this cleaned up, and I'll show you guys all the different recipes. Alright, so I have a lot of recipes planned out, so I think I'm doing seven more recipes, which I just like to mention that obviously with the sorbet, like I said earlier, you can do your own, like just like we did with the raspberry one, or you could do it without the syrup or whatever you'd like. And then for the macaroons with the leftover ones, um, I, I don't know if any resins would work well to be like the icing in between macaroons, but you could try like, oh god, you could try using Play-Doh and then like some white Play-Doh and like maybe that could help out. So the first recipe that I wanted to do, um, a really super easy one because this one doesn't need any resin because I don't know what I would do for it. So I wanted to make a nice yummy like kind of like a game day or gamer kind of snack. So we got one of the round plates. We got the Snacks Co. paper, and then we're going to be using the chips, which we haven't opened up, the spicy ones. And then we're also going to be using some avocados, so kind of like a taco kind of thing, which would be really good. So I'm going to go ahead and get this chip bag opened, and then I can show you how to set it up. Alright, so just like with real chips, you can easily open this up, and then we can get the chips poured out. Whoa, okay, so we got a lot of chips, and they are definitely spicy because they are like this atomic orange kind of color. So they look like spicy Doritos. And then super easily, you can just throw some avocados on there. And then it could be like some yummy snack. There we go. So that still looks really good, just like that. And then if I were to ever have like some kind of cheese resin or something, then you could easily drizzle that on. But I've only like out of what I have from this case, I've only opened up like sweet kind of foods and drinks. So this is it for right now, which it's still really good. Um, so now I'm going to get this cleaned up and we're going to move on to the next easiest recipe, which does involve some resin. All right. The next recipe is going to be um like a toast and grape jelly kind of thing so obviously we have the rye bread the grape jelly and the knife so i'm gonna go ahead and get all this opened up the tape off the resin and i'm gonna put some jelly and then i'll explain what this could be all right so luckily the package of bread and the grape jelly were nice and easy to open as most of the things have been and as you can see 
I have one of the slices of bread with some delicious clear transparent purple grape jelly on it. Now you could do a lot of things with just this simple little thing let alone. So for the grape jelly you can put on some blackberries if you wanted to. You can put on the other bread before or after it's dried to be like a grape uh, jelly sandwich. Or you could, um, if there's peanut butter, there might be, I don't know, in like one of the seasons you could put peanut butter on the other side and then you can have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which you can have them separate or together because then on the peanut butter side you could add like bananas or something, but you can always leave this other bread empty for if you just wanted like this plain sandwich or if you wanted to add other things on to be like a separate piece of toast. You can use some Play-Doh to pretend to be butter, or you could put on different kinds of fruits or even avocados to be avocado toast. So the possibilities are endless. You can do so much. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next recipe. Alrighty, so this recipe and the next two recipes are going to, or mm, next like two or three recipes are going to be of kind of like the same difficulty, kind of like a medium difficulty. So we have a spoon, we have a bowl, we have some macaroni, and we have some tomato soup. So I wasn't able, like obviously, like I told you with the chips, I don't have, oh my god, whoopsies, I don't have a, um, like a cheese, so I can't do like macaroni and cheese. But we can still do like pasta, kind of like SpaghettiOs kind of pasta. So I'm going to put all these yummy stuff in the bowl. I'm going to get it mixed up and then I can show you what the final product looks like. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that these are very interesting packaging. So like the can opened up at the top and then just like in real life, I got ripped off in some food because the packaging was only in this top part. So I get a little less macaroni. Though there's a really cute little macaroni background there. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up and all mixed up. Alrighty, so I got it all done. Which you definitely cannot squeeze this, just to let you know. And make sure to save a little bit of some macaroni in case you would want to make a little macaroni salad or mac and cheese or something. So here is the delicious pasta. Which the resin is like this bright transparent red color. And then what I'm going to do to make it even more fun is I'm going to try to get the spoon with little pieces of macaroni like um, in the sun differently than in the bowl. So that way these can be two separate pieces which will be super fun. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and then we'll move on to our next recipe. Next up we're going to be making some delicious cereal and milk which is the banana chocolate flavored and like I like to do in real life add banana slices to it so it's gonna be really good so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up and then I'll show you the final product oh plus I got the spoon and bowl all right so I got it all created which the oat milk is like this clear kind of like off-white kind of resin and then here it is it looks so delicious and then I'm going to do the same thing with the spoon as I talked about with the little spaghetti. So next, um, I'm going to get this all cleaned up and then we'll check out the next recipe. All right, so our next recipe is nice, yummy, glazed cinnamon donuts or cinnamon rolls. So obviously you're going to need a rectangular plate, the little paper that says Les Sun Baked Sweets, the box of cinnamon buns, and then what I'm going to be using <clears throat> for the glaze, but this time a bit lighter than what I did with the donuts, is the white chocolate. And then I got the same knife that I used for the donuts too. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all created and then we'll see the finished product. All right, so here is my super good, delicious looking cinnamon rolls or cinnamon buns. So I tried to get like the drizzle detail just like I did with my donuts. So they look really good and they do look pretty glazed since I tried to put it on in like a thinner kind of coat. So I'm going to go ahead and get the next recipe ready now. All right, so I am super excited to try this recipe. So you're going to need one of the milkshake looking cups, a straw, which I want to choose out the red one, the Coca-Cola and the special ice. So depending on how this looks with the ice, this is either going to be some really fizzy Coca-Cola or it could look like a Coca-Cola slushy or like uh, Coca-Cola root beer float kind of thing. 
which if it would look like that, it'd be really fun to put ice cream in it. Just the two flavors that I have it doesn't seem like it would be exactly good with Coca-Cola. So we'll see how this looks and I'm really excited to try this out. Okay, so I am so happy with how this turned out, which I did notice that it actually says crushed ice, um, which be very careful pouring it. It comes out very fast and those pieces are so tiny. But here is the fin the final product, and it looks just like a Coca-Cola slushie, which I was squeezing out the Coca-Cola thing, like, for a long time. So as you can see, I got a lot out. So this is a filled cup. So we have one more recipe to try out that I created myself, and this is going to be the hardest recipe because it's, like, the biggest recipe lots to do for it so we will come back to that in a moment all right the last thing to make is some fruity tarts so you're gonna need the fancy little tart stand the uh tart crusts i got the strawberries blackberries blueberries and some kiwis and then i decided to use the pink glaze because uh so i've never had tarts before so i think there's like some kind of like fruity or custard kind of feeling in there so like this would be the closest and it can kind of be like a strawberry or raspberry kind of feeling so it'll it'll kind of work so i'm gonna go ahead and get these all decorated which for the tarts you can do whatever you want like you don't even have to do a berry tart like you can even do a chocolate one and you can put little chocolate chips in there uh, you can do different fruits than these. Like, there's so much you can do. Like, you can even make these as little mini pies. So, I'm going to go ahead and work on that, and I'm pretty excited. Alrighty, so I got my tarts and mini pies finished. So, I did save two of the crusts in case I were to get something like peanut butter, some cookies, kind kinds of things like that. Or even like other fruits or something to make some other little tiny delicious pies. So I did make two very delicious berry fruit tarts. Which as you can see I put a little too much of the pink glaze in. So they are very stuffed. And on the bottom I made some yummy chocolatey little pies. So I used the white chocolate again. Including the chocolate chips. And then... I used the chocolate chips from the time that I made chocolate donuts and the chocolate curls from the time that I made um, like a fancy cake. So there they are, super delicious. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up. I'm going to set up my pantry with, um, with like all the things that I've ever created and all their stuff. And then on the counter, I will have all of my created creations so you can see how they look, which obviously they're gonna look pretty much like the same, just they'll be nice and hard. And I'll also um, compare it w like everything with my dolls too. Alrighty, so here are all of the final creations, which I added a doily for the cake, a coaster for my orange juice, and then I added some silverware to some of the things. So here's everything. Everything turned out so good. And then I got all of my other recipes and items all put away, including in the drawers. So it is super, super awesome. And then I'm not going to go too into detail with the comparisons, but basically this can work for Barbies, LOLs, Monster High, Ever After High, Bratz, Rainbow High, just whatever. So here is one of my Barbies right here. This is a perfect doll pantry. Really, really good. And all of the items are a perfect size too. So I am so happy. Um, and that's pretty much it. So make sure to leave a super delicious like on this video. Subscribe to my super awesome channel to become a bear cub today if you haven't already. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you know when I make a new video. And then make sure to check out um, the other nine videos that I made unboxing the other kinds of recipes that I have in here. And very much make sure to watch part one where I unbox this video. And remember, link in the description over there. Or you can go to my channel homepage to check out part one. So that way you can see everything all unboxed. And the other things that came in here because I did not show everything from this case in this video. And 
um, that's pretty much it. So I can't wait to unbox more Miniverse in the future to put in this case to make an even bigger, better pantry for my dolls. And yeah, so make sure to watch all those videos and make sure to stay bearlicious. Bye, guys!